Heritage Organization City, City's Collection. He's been represented here in Guangzhou, here in South Busan province. And of course, there's a ceremonial practice going on there. I don't know what's going to be there. There'll be lots of representatives who will be representing the annual event which is being held here in this city of South Korea because they've got three, two, three, yeah, three World Heritage Sites in this very province here. Anyway, there we go. It's closed off for the um, visitors like you and me and it's just left cordon off for the dignitaries from today and for the rest of the week. So inconvenience, so to speak, that world, when the rest of the world organizations descend on a city, the city shuts down. Just like United Nations in New York, when the annual general meeting takes place out in July, September time, or in September, I don't know, no interest whatsoever. And uh, what happens is that entire New York is locked down because the representatives from around the world would descend in New York for a shopping spree. Nothing to do with peace talks or resolutions and passing on for the welfare and wellness of or well-being of humanity. But it's just only for their own personal interest. They will come in helicopters, they'll come in Lear jets, private jets, national carriers converted into a private home to transport them and so on. Enough said. Not my interest at all. What is interesting to me is a heritage we need to preserve and we need to share that knowledge amongst all of the people of the world. To do that, we need to first of all get them to get up, wake up and get involved with life and improve the health conditions by going out, exercising with the nature and preserving these trees that gives us life. Half of my lungs are hanging up on there. Only you realize when you are on a deserted land with no trees, gasping for breath, or gasping for polluted breath, in fact, in cities that we are building in a large scale, and we are constantly polluting the rivers, the air, and the food we eat, we chemically contaminate them because there's nothing else left.